find where the people are going and buy the land before they get there but then how do you determine where people are most likely to go to human beings most times do the path of development but then what are the factors that drive rapid development to a particular location that is what we will be looking at in today's episode in case you're meeting me for the first time my name is Chris Asika. please do well to support this channel by subscribing to our channel click on the bell notification so you will notify when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up four factors that drive rapid development to a particular location number one is the government a city is being planned by the government that is why most times if you go to some state you notice that a huge chunk of the development of that state is centered in the state's capital it doesn't just happen it is deliberately planned most times the government they plan where the next phase of development is going to be in a particular state and when that phase is getting congested or saturated the plan where the next phase of development is going to be so if you come to a state and you see that a large um, chunk of development is centered in the capital of the state it doesn't just happen the government planned it to be so and whenever that capital gets congested the government they consciously determine where next the development of that city is heading to that is why if you go to some state like if you come to potato you notice that there are some places in potato that the government they are intensifying building of roads they are intensifying infrastructure development in that local government why because they are consciously moving the development of the state to that particular axis that is why they are moving so many infrastructure development they are moving a lot of projects to those locations so if you see any place that the government is moving a lot of projects and a lot of infrastructure development it is a very very big signal that that is going to drive rapid development to that location and people are going to hit that place in no distant time the next is saturation and congestion when a city is getting congested when a city is getting saturated the most likely place that people are most likely to go to is the next city after that place that is becoming saturated and congested in the olden days our forefathers they migrate a lot they can live where they are currently staying and they go very very far to establish their family and establish their town in that place but right now it is no longer the same right now people now live in clusters people because of insecurity and as a result of where people like to live where they mostly get their means of livelihood so they now live in clusters that is why you see that a lot of people choose to settle down in the urban cities where they work and where they do their business so if maybe the urban city is becoming congested the next place that people are most likely to go to is the next town that is after the urban city so saturation and congestion is pushing people out of a place that have already been congested to a less congested place which is most likely to be the next town or the next city the next is commercialization and industrialization if you take a commercial hub or an industrial hub and you go and put it in a thick forest people will leave the urban cities and they will go and live close to that place where they are getting their means of livelihood because when people when they finish working in a day when they finish doing their business they are already stressed out and they don't want to go too far so they are most likely to live in places that are in close proximity to where they are doing business and where they are working this for instance what you see happening in anambra states you see on nature Onitia is not the capital of Anambra State, but you see massive development in Onitia. Why? Because of the commercial activities happening in Onitia. The same thing also can be found in Aba. Aba is not the capital of Anambra State, but you see massive development in Aba as a result of the commercial activities that is happening in Aba. So any place where there is commercial activity, any place where there are industries, there are companies, development is hitting that area a no distant time in total if you take the maitri market and maybe you can put it in somewhere like in isiobo that is not developed give isiobo the next five years you're not going to recognize that place so that is the power of commercial activity when there's an increase in commercial and industrial activities in a particular location it is going to create a high demand for residential buildings in that location which also 
is going to fuel some level of development in that location the last but not the least are landmark landmark attracts human beings to a particular location just the same way sugar attracts ants if there are no landmark in a particular location then don't expect human beings to go there but when there are landmark it made the place attractive and people are most likely to go towards the places where there are existing landmark so if there is a landmark in a particular place it can be like a general hospital it can be like a school it can be a shopping mall it can be like a company people are most likely to go to that places because there is an existing landmark and one other thing that landmark does is that it guarantees security when there's a landmark there then people are very sure that if they come to that place that because of that landmark that they saw in that place that place is most likely to be secured so these are the four factors that drive rapid development to a particular location just a recap of all i have just said the four factors that drive rapid development to a particular location are number one is the government the government consciously plan where development is going to number two is saturation and congestion when a city is getting saturated and congested the next city the next town after that place that is getting saturated is most likely to face development then the next one is commercialization and industrialization when there is commercial and industrial activities in a particular place then expect rapid development because human beings don't want to go far from where they are doing business and lastly is landmark when there are landmarks in a particular place human beings are most likely to go there because of the presence of that landmark these four factors put together drive rapid development to any location where you see them if you have gotten value from this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do where to give this video a thumbs up and please try as much as you can to share this video so that other people can also get the same value that you have gotten till i come your way next time my name is chris asika